The Department of Homeland Security now accused of holding back a damning report on the number of illegal immigrants who've successfully crossed our southern border with Mexico. Fox News today learned the report shows roughly half of all adults who try to cross the border, they make it. And that's a far cry from what the DHS has been claiming, saying 80% apprehended. One source tells Fox that the DHS, the Department of Homeland Security, is suppressing the report for political reasons. No, no. They're saying that would help elect Donald Trump. They wouldn't do that, surely. Well, there you are. Uh, that's how pathetic uh, things have gotten in the world of presidential politics. Joining me now, the host of The Chris Plant Show, WMAL Chris Plant, attorney, Fox News contributor, Ebony Williams. Great to have you both here. Thank Ebony, you. I mean, come on. The Department of Homeland Security is politicized. Next, we'll, we'll learn that the entire administration is politicized through every department. You would never say something like that. How about the Commerce <laughs> Department, the Labor Department, reporting no. on job creation, economic yeah. growth? I the mean, IRS, wow. unemployment numbers, the Bureau of Labor Statistics, the, yeah. the Bureau of Justice Statistics, politicizing them? The no, FBI. Never. I mean, you know, it's, it's, yeah, it's, it's the, sad DOJ. that, that it's, it's sarcasm, but I do think a significant yeah. amount of Americans are legitimately yeah. curious about the extent well, I, to, let me be to clear. this. I, wasn't I, know you're not, I, know you, I know you're not. I wasn't being sarcastic. Yeah, I, I, I think this government <laughs> is politicized from A to Z, from uh, top yeah. to bottom. I think that this administration is carrying out a ruse on the American people. And so the administration, Lou, I think, for me, anyways, is one thing. I think when you look at things that should be apapolitical, like the FBI, like the Department of Justice, those things to see them the be... The most politicized parts of and, this administration. And, and that's the part, for me, as a lawyer now, putting my lawyer hat on, breaks my heart, actually, because yeah. the American yeah. people actually deserve better than that. <laughs> yep. Yeah. And you know, As an and you, American, it should sure. break all of our hearts. It's, sure. it's horrifying what's happened during this administration. I mean, this is the left, the genuine and authentic left. And these are the levers of power. And they use and abuse the departments and agencies uh, to advantage the Democrat Party. Lois Lerner destroying emails. Brian Pagliano destroying emails. These people destroy evidence. They scoff at uh, uh, Congress sending out subpoenas for Brian Pagliano. They plead the Fifth Amendment. Man, it's good to be a Democrat, isn't it? Because but Chris, if, let if me this ask were a Republican this. administration, this would be a scandal. But so this is my question, though, Chris. And I hear what you're saying, and, and I'm not going to uh, push back too hard, but this is my question. The left is only one half of the equation, right? What does it say about Washington? Certainly, yeah. that this is no, at play. You. This is my question. Oh, I'm with you. I'm with you 100%. And let me say, I was uh, talking about this on my radio show today or yesterday. In Washington, you're bringing this up to date on your radio show here tonight. <laughs> no, no, no. I mean, are, you, are, you, are, are you kidding me? Are you <laughs> kidding it's me? It's not the first time I thought of it, that's all. But, but a lie is as okay, good we're as we're going to make it in out. Washington. Huh? No fresh as, thought from Chris Plant tonight. As long as, as, long as a radio that, show two days ago. <laughs> well, let's get, to, let's get to Donald Trump's hair. I've got fresh thoughts about that. All right. But a lie is as good as the truth in Washington these days, as long as you can get away with it. Yeah, well, I think uh, we're talking about the Clinton cartel. We're talking about the, yeah. admin, uh, the Obama administration yeah. that in every department uh, has politicized it. Uh, I yeah. think we're talking about corruption that extends to both yeah. parties through the establishment, uh, through uh, you know, the, the Chamber of Commerce, the Business Roundtable, uh, the AFL, yeah. CIO, Wall Street, big donors, corporate America, you name it. And the truth of the matter is, if, you, if we didn't have Donald Trump, to put it uh, plainly, this country would be in a world of hurt. We're hurting. But the fact is, we've got a way out. Ebony, do you think that we're going to see Donald Trump succeed? Are we going to see this rotten, uh, just corrupt, nasty, uh, uh, incompetent government in Washington, D.C. Uh, suddenly uh, be confronted and hopefully fixed? I'll tell you this, Lou, the success Mr. Trump is enjoying, uh, despite what you think about his politics, is rightfully because of what you're pointing out. Because people feel like there are so many on the left and some on the right that gain so significantly by the status quo. They're sick of it. They're tired of it. And if it's Donald Trump that will change it, so many people are willing to say so be it. Yeah, I mean, the lies are the new normal. It's really, we've come to expect it as voters, as taxpayers. I think Democrats have, have become, com generally, have become comfortable with being lied to about everything. They, and they kind of don't care. It's just yeah. they assume they're being lied to, they're okay with it, and they go get lunch. Well, yeah. I think they get an indication of that by the fact that they themselves are lying. 
uh, those who are members of this administration. I mean, we're watching John Koskinen today get a deal from Congress on impeachment uh, so that they could actually talk to him and maybe hear how he did it. I mean, this, there, there are levels of absurdity here uh, that are breathtaking, but none rise to the level of the corruption that envelops our capital city of Washington, D.C. Flagrant. Chris Plant, Ebony Williams, thank you both thank for being you. with us.